You know what is the formula of pyruvic acid? Pyruvic acid, the name is important, the name also you should keep in mind. Pyruvic acid. Pyruvic acid is this. CH3, C double bond O, C O O H. Okay? If the formula is given, you can say this shows hydroformatase because we have COCH3 group present. Okay? But sometimes they give you name also. Right? This name and the formula you must remember. Right. 2 degree amino alkene also shows. Right on next. 2 degree <coughs> amino alkene. Which is nothing but R, CH, R, and H2. This is 2 degree amino alkene. Right? 2 alkyl group attached with this carbon which attached with the nitrogen which is 2 degree amino alkene. Okay. You know the formula of lactic acid? What is the formula of lactic acid? Lactic acid is this. CH3COH H and COH. This is lactic acid. Okay. So you see CHOH CS3 group is present. This is nothing but this. CHOH CS3 group is present. Lactic acid also shows positive hydrophone Correct. Is this an optically active compound this one? Yes. Why it is optically active? Yeah. Huh? Only one carbon. Yeah. That's why it is optically active. There is no plane of symmetry. Okay? The lactic acid is an optically active compound. You can take two isomers of this. One is R, the other one is S. And both shows hydrophones. Okay? Next one you write down. Carbide amine reaction. Carbide amine reaction. Means it is a reaction with CHI3 where we get uh, carbide amine. Okay, so there's two three reactions we have. And using the using this, we'll start uh, this uh, uh, isomerism. Like the tautomerism is left. Okay, that will do, and then we'll do conformational isomers. Okay. Right now, in this reaction, in this reaction, when one degree amine, when one degree amine reacts with hydroform reacts with hydroform in presence of alcoholic KOH in presence of alcoholic KOH it forms isocyanide it forms isocyanide this reaction is carbyl amine reaction. Okay? So in carbyl amine reaction, we use this. Did I say uh, 1 degree amine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You write down any link, not amine. Any link. Or you can also write in this way. C6H5 and this is also the same. Any name. When reacts with CHI3 in presence of alcoholic. Can you write down the product in this? What is the product we get? We get isocyanide, right? Isocyanide is what? NC, RNC. RCN is cyanide. And when R is attached with nitrogen in this, we call it as isocyanide. Okay. CN minus is an ambidentate ligand. Okay, ambidentate ligand we discuss in um, coordination compound chapter. Okay. The point is this carbon and this nitrogen both has tendency to attach with another group, another alkyl group. So when carbon attached with this, so whenever you have one uh, molecule in which more than one atom has tendency to attach with the alkyl group, like in this case we have carbon and nitrogen. So when we have more than one carbon atom present which can attach with the alkyl group, that kind of compound we call it as ambidentate ligand. Okay? Ambidentate ligand. So CN minus ligand is nothing but which donates a lone pair to form a bond between the two uh, molecules, right? So that's called as ligand. So 
here since carbon and nitrogen both have tendency to attract with alkyl uh, group here, that's why we call it as MB dendritic bond. Okay, so whenever CN attaches with R, it is known as cyanide, NC it is known as isocyanide. Okay, so this is a carboxylic reaction which we also call it as isocyanide test. Isocyanide test. So in this reaction, isocyanide forms. Okay, and the isocyanide will be the benzene ring attached with NC plus KCl plus H. Okay, and this we call it as phenyl isocyanide. So what did we K I? What K I? K I. Yeah, K I. Isocyanide. Okay, phenyl isocyanide. So formation of phenyl isocyanide takes place. That's why we call it as isocyanide test. Okay. Sir, that is not isocyanide. That is not isocyanide. Sorry. I didn't get it. That is not isocyanide. Yeah. Uh, it it actually it actually when you you know inhale it you will have headache and uh, you will not feel well. So isocyanide is dangerous. It's not that. Okay, and we, we have a very bad smell, something like no rotten fish type. Rotten fish type is rotten fish is very no. Huh? Even they get actually. Yeah. Rotten fish. That kind of smell. Yeah. All this rotten, this potatoes. That also very good. No? Huh? No, sir, I don't think it smells like it. In for in rotten potatoes, the smell is given by the sulfur uh, group. So it's, it's good or not? No, it's not good, does it? But they don't smell the same. <laughs> so, I have been in Bengal, right? Dazzling I have been there. So Bengali they used to eat a lot of fish, right? Actually they eat every day they can eat, they can eat fish, fish and potato will make some fish or something. So uh, when you go to the market, no, the, you know, the sabji market and all. So there is also, you know, some uh, dry fish is there, right? They used to, you know, uh, keep that fish in sunlight and then it becomes dry. Which in Bengali or Hindi we call it sukhata right or something. Right, so that is means, you know, ridiculous. You cannot take that. <laughs> so that's the thing. So it is, it is nothing but a um, lot fish. Right, so this is ferile isocyanate. There is one very important reaction in this right now. When ido bomb, when ido bomb, heated in presence of, when ido bomb, heated in presence of red phosphorus and HI, it forms phosphorus and HI. It forms CH2I2. This is one important reaction. CH3, red phosphorus. HI and it forms CH2I2. But when this is heated in presence of silver powder, you end up getting acetylene. Silver powder, you end up getting AGI and acetylene. You can take two modes of this here according to the Okay. So this one is more important. This one also you can keep in mind, and this is isocyanate test result. So only these two three reactions for hydroform we have to prepare. Like again I said, you will have this hydroform test every year. They ask this question. Okay, so you must remember those conditions. What all groups molecule shows hydroform? That is the most important part. And after that, these two reactions and this species. Okay. What right. did you write? AG. AG powder. It's par, right? The two E. AG powder. Okay. Natural reaction carbon tetrachloride CCl4. Carbon tetrachloride, CCl4. How do we prepare carbon tetrachloride? Write down. This we have already done, right? What is that? It's a correlation of methane, excess of chlorine, right? So, first method of preparation you write down. When this CH4 combines with Cl2, excess I write down here. You not write down all those steps here with radical mechanism and all. And it forms CCl4 plus HCl. Carbon tetrachloride. Okay. There's two points right into this. First, you already know it follows free radical mechanism. It follows 
periodical mechanism and next point the formation of methyl radical the formation of methyl radical in chain propagation step the formation of methyl radical in chain propagation step is the rate determining step this is important sometimes they ask you this question which is the rate determining step okay in the chlorination reaction what methyl radical in chain propagation step is the rate determining okay, this is one point you must have okay another method is what we can use carbon disulfide with ch2 and we get here c cl4 plus s2 cl c cl4 s2 cl so carbon tetrachloride and s2 cl2 we call it as sulfur monochloride i sulfur monochloride sulfur monochloride basically is same because we have two molecules of hcl sulfur monochloride is a monomer basically here right we use a catalyst here for this reaction and then catalyst reaction is not important but then we write down the catalyst can be you know iron or we can take a uh, uh, i2 also or we can take clcl3 any one of these catalysts we can use for this reaction okay next i write down carbon disulfide is only carbon disulfide has tendency to combine with s2cl2 has tendency to combine with s2cl2 and again forms carbon tetrachloride in any form carbon tetrachloride so whatever the carbon disulfide is left here that also has a tendency to combine with s2cl2 in presence of any catalyst suppose here cl3 it forms ccl4 plus sulfur okay so whatever carbon disulfide left combines with this product and again converts into carbon dioxide carbon tetrachloride right? okay next write down reaction of carbon disulfide sorry reaction of ccl4 not carbon disulfide reaction of ccl4 carbon tetrachloride right? and only one reaction we have here which we call it as primer diamond reaction this is the reaction of ccl4 carbon tetrachloride important this one is important okay write down in this reaction carbon tetrachloride reacts with phenol carbon tetrachloride reacts with phenol and forms salicylic acid reacts with phenol and forms salicylic acid reaction you see what reaction here salicylic just telling phenol and at ortho position we have we have coh group present right OH plus CCl4. Any other? Right. So the product here will be OH COH here plus NaCl and H2. What did you say? Salicylic acid. Sali 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 what happens who very happy ha huh? what is what is it say sali sali acid or whatever you say this is the problem 
Πάρα καλή φυσικά. Να δείτε. Αν έτσι. So this is the product we get. COH at powerful position at that. Right. If you try to understand the mechanism a little bit, you can understand. This is uh, actually we take four moles of NCL. Right. These two will react CCL4 plus 4 NEOH. What it forms? NACL that took four moles and then COH. Right. Now you look at this molecule. We have COH. OH. Okay. Now from this, what happens? Two moles of H2O will come out. Right. Two moles of H2O plus we get carbon dioxide. See double bond. You can say this OH gives its bond pair to this carbon and this OH gives this bond pair to this. So we have C double bond, C double bond, and two moles of H2O. Right? And we get carbon dioxide. Now this benzene or phenol that you have, OH plus C double bond O double bond O. This pi electron attack onto this carbon dioxide, the carbon of this carbon dioxide because two double bond O we have. So this carbon becomes what? Uh, because of I effect of oxygen, it will draw electron. This carbon has positive charge, partial positive charge on it, right? This partial positive charge we have will get attacked by the pi electrons of benzene ring. Correct? And this electron will jump over here. So here what we get? Very 
important we have to do. And let's write our Pluto form. The last one for this, after this we will discuss array array. CHCL3, that is Pluto form. Write down this. It is prepared by it is prepared by it is prepared by distilling, distillation. Distillation, you know what is that? It is prepared by distilling ethanol or acetone with bleaching powder. Or acetone with bleaching powder. Ethanol or acetone with bleaching powder. What is bleaching powder? CaO, CaO2. Right? Generally, the oxidation state of uh, chlorine in bleaching powder is not required here. CaO, CaO2. What is the oxidation state of each chlorine atom in this? I have done this in the class. Tell me. Oxidation state of each chlorine atom. Huh? Don't know. What? I don't know. Chloral, chloral, 
chloro aldehyde chloro aldehyde that also we call it as so in short it is chloro aldehyde so chloro okay ccl3 ch4 is chloro now this is allowed to react with this saline only in the first product we get so what we take here we take two moles of this and two moles of this okay oh no, this is the reaction caoh oh is one mole of slick line and then two moles of this two moles of chloral and one mole of this caoh molecule so what we get here you see this h and this ccl3 combines this h and this ccl3